Hi, in this video we will see how to partition a table in SAP HANA database. The partitioning feature of the SAP HANA database splits column store tables horizontally into disjunctive subtables or partitions. In this way, large tables can be broken down into smaller, more manageable parts. Partitioning is typically used in multiple host systems, but it may also be beneficial in single host systems. When a table is partitioned, the split is done in such a way that each partition contains a different set of rows of the table. And to specify how the rows are assigned to the partitions of the table, several alternatives are available. When a table is partitioned, its rows are distributed to partition according to the different criteria known as partitioning specifications. So the types of single level partitioning available in SAP HANA system are hash partitioning, round robin partitioning and range partitioning. Partitioning is done using SQL query in SQL editor and you have to use different syntax for different partitioning types. So let us go to SAP HANA environment and see how a table is partitioned using hash, round robin and range partitioning methods. Let's see in SAP HANA studio how we can create the partitions of a table in the SAP HANA database. So there are certain SQL statements which we have to use in case of creating the table with the partitions. So first of all we will select the system and we will open up the SQL console. So the first statement here is let me copy this from the notepad to my SQL console. So what this statement is doing is that this command will create the four partitions of a table. So to create the four partitions of a table using the round robin we can use this SQL query and here the no primary keys should be defined. So we can see here that it is creating the column table under the schema test and the table name will be actuals 4 and these are the different and these are the different column names and after that we have the partition by round robin and what will be the number of partitions is 4. So if we execute this statement so we will see that the statement is successfully executed. So what it has done it is has created the column table with the 4 partitions inside it. After that we have a different option of creating the partition by hash. So what is the statement which we have to use is we have to select this statement and we will go here after that we will put this statement here. So this statement will create the four partitions on column A and B and we need to specify at least one column. So here what is happening is that we are creating the column table and here we have to keep the table name that is the schema dot table name and these are the uh, these are the different columns of that table and this is the primary key and this is the partitioning by hash and here we have to specify the different columns. Then we have the range partition. So in the range partition we can create the dedicated partitions for certain values and we should have in-depth knowledge of the table contents for partitioning columns. So let's see the example of the range partition. So let's copy the statement from the notepad. So if I go here and if I put this statement here, so this statement will create the four partitions, one for the partition range 1 to 10, after that second for the 10 to 20 and the third for the value 50 and fourth one for all other values. So these are the different statements, different SQL statements using which we can create the different types of partitions in my SAP HANA database. So as we have the three different types of partitions, level of partitions that is the hash partitioning, round robin partitioning and the range partitioning. So we can see here that this first SQL statement, this is for my round robin. After that, this is for my hash partitioning and the third one, this is for my range partitioning. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can create the partitioning using the three different types that is the hash partition, round robin partition and the range partition. 